Hey, how's the guy? How you guys doing today? Today, as, uh, I actually did this video. I'm, I'm gonna have to redo this whole video over again due to the fact that, um, you know, um, my YouTube, whatever the case may be, it's not working properly. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys in this content the differences of the MCK for the Glocks versus the new the new uh, carbine that I purchased from Smith & Wesson MMP. And I, the sad thing about this video is I already did a video right now on that, um, the whole concept. So, uh, this video, I'm just gonna try to keep it simple, but I do, do want you guys to know that I'm doing these videos for purpose. I'm doing these videos for people to be aware because you guys might know, oh, okay, it's, you know, you guys know about your laws and things like that. But um, a lot of people don't. And uh, I want to share this information for people that, that need this information. And um, they need to be aware of their God-given rights amendment. And they're trying to take it away from us. You feel me? So, that being said, I'm going to get right into the content, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you my different setups, but there's a purpose on why I do these videos, and by all means, I'm not a professional, this is not staged, this is this real talk, me just speaking my mind. Okay, so I'm getting right into it. I'm just going to keep it simple because I already did this video, but the frustrating part about it is when I did this video, like the, the sound wasn't there, so I had to do this video over. But anyway, this is my setup, my new um, setup from um, Smith & Wesson M&P, and it, it comes in this bag. You know what I mean? This is a, a carbine, the foldable carbine that this came out, which I think this is, you guys going to have to take a look at this, which I think is a great idea because it's, it's discreet. Nobody really knows what it is. You know what I mean? It, it could be, you know, you could just have your, you know, your back, what's in there, you know, it's just a little bag, whatever. It could be, um... You know, a little backpack, whatever, you know. Um, you can have, you know, your laptop in there, whatever. And then it's like, you know, it's, it's not tactical. It's like, you know, it's not tactical. But it, let me, I'm going to show you why this bag is, is, is important to have. Now, for this setup, for this particular setup. And I'm going to show you my other setup. So this is my M&P carping that's in here. And like if you out and about, <clears throat> let's say you at, and I say, I say Walmart because Walmart is where all the stupid people was at. And I don't know if you guys know on July 1st, uh, anybody could carry without a concealed permit, which I think is going to, is going to go bananas. And that's, right around the corner because July is next month. You know, so we got a couple of weeks before that really takes effect. Um, um, that's why I'm doing this content for you guys, for you guys to be aware, for you guys don't be scared and shit. Shit, I think shit is gonna hit the fan once this this law takes effect. People, It's gonna be the wild, wild west for real, for real. But anyway, going back to this setup, I think, uh, you know, it's very important to have this bag and Smith & Wesson thought really good about this because 
If you out and about and you had to handle your business, the first thing I'm going to go to is my concealed, which is my MMP 2.0 Block 19 version at the 15 round mags. And I'm going to show you why this, this is going to be my first if I can reach them. If I can't reach them and they like kind of far, this is what I'm going to go to. Put this baby out. And I got this set up. And this is why the bag plays a good role. And you, we got the bag here. We got room for your medical stuff or whatever. And uh, you're good to go. Got the bag here. Boom, boom. Two setups. And like I said, this is going to give you enough time to get... Boom. Now you got a three-point carbine that is official. And this is the new Smith & Wesson F, if you guys can see, FPC. New Smith & Wesson FPC. And they thought really good about this Smith & Wesson. Let me tell you why. Because... They thought about all the cut, all the customers that buy Smith and Wesson. You know why? Because that's why I bought it. Because I thought about it, and um, this is the reason why. Because this setup gives you the ability to have a carbine at your disposal. When shit hits the fan, and you just gently just bring it down, boom. Now you got three-point access to a rifle, 9 millimeter rifle. Now, if Smith & Wesson is really looking at this video, I think, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, they are going to go with it. Um, if, if they do. It'll be even better if they make this set up a 10 millimeter. Let's think about it. 10 millimeter is more effective, more penetration, and this setup, it will be phenomenal because there is not a carbine out there that's 10 millimeter. But if Smith & Wesson was to do a 10 millimeter version of this, this would dominate the game. Okay, going back to this setup. This whole setup right here, Smith, I think Smith and Wesson really thought really big about this. Because um, you know, they have uh 23 two 23 round magazines. In here and I use the I use one of these magazines as my everyday carry and I just put the 15 round one of my 15 round magazines just to replace it on the whole setup which is nothing so I put this in my pocket this 23 round mag and it fits also it fits also on my on my Smith & Wesson Glock 19 version 2.0. I think Smith and Wesson hit the, a home run with this. I'm telling you. A lot of people are complaining about this setup. And it's and it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. It's not it's not the most perfect setup. Let's get that out the way. Alright? It ain't. But I think it serves a purpose. I think it serves a really good purpose. You feel me? And the only downside of it is it doesn't take the aftermarket ETS mags. And these are 40 rounders, by the way. It won't take them. That's a big downside, but it, it is what it is. The, the, big, the big upside about it, this is a carping, so you have more velocity. This is made out of plastic. All this is made out of plastic. It holds your magazines. You do have to get used 
of the functionality of taking these magazines out. got to get used to the functionality of taking these magazines out so you got to like it to me it's like muscle memory so it's like okay you got your magazine right here so okay you got your finger right here boom this is where they messed up at to be real with you they should have they should have went instead of upside down they should have went upside right and then but if you have enough training, you're good to go. And um, another downside about this too is you can't put this this uh, setup <clears throat> like if you wish to put this in a backpack or whatever, you could you you can't put it this way. That's why I say. You can put it this way down, side up, you know what I mean? But I'll still be concerned about you hitting this. So that's another big thing that, you know, that's my concern. But other than that, that's why I say it's important to just leave it in this backpack. The reason being is because you got this. Everything is, it serves a purpose. It serves a purpose. You know what I mean? Just put it in. Just leave it in this backpack. Don't think about putting it in another backpack setup. And just, you know, leave it like it is in here. You know what I mean? It's secure. It ain't going to hit anything. You know what I mean? They really thought about this. So it's an, um, I think it's a good setup. And then you have your manual here. You could put your, your tourniquet. Your medical here, whatever. So, I'm going to show you another setup that I have. And a lot of people don't like it. I I like it. But, um, I did. I ended up not selling my, um, Glock 17. So, over here, this is the MCK. As you guys can see, everybody, a lot of people own these. And, um, the, the beauty about this... And um, I didn't get rid of my Glock 17 because I feel like it's gonna. This is gonna serve a purpose. And um, they have a new kit uh, kit out there. So by the way, this is all safety check before doing the video. So every gun in here has been safety checked, and not nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the chamber. You know what I mean? But, um... There's a new carbine that came out for Glocks. And I think I'm going to use this Glock 17 for that. Because I got the Glock 47. And the reason why I'm doing all this content for you guys is because I want people to get, you know, come to a realization that shit is going to hit the fan and we need to all back each other up. So in the end of the day, you know, what I mean, this is my setup. And, um, you know, what I mean, I got the three point, the three point, you know, angle, you know, this is good for new shooters, um, and, and professional shooters as well. You know, you got more of a um, stability as far as this a regular handgun. You know, a handgun, you need to like really have, uh, you know, you need to practice more. Even for professionals, this is, this is better because even for professionals, and you know, I, I know a lot of professional people use this setup. Because, you know, you have more stability, first and foremost. And, you know, you're ready to rock and roll versus this having a regular handgun. You know, it's it's harder to handle this a regular handgun. So this one does serves its purpose. 
And big shout outs to MCK for having this available. But they should have, uh, with this, the, the MCKs, the uh, suppressors, this uh, this is only for Glocks. They should have made it for other guns. I don't know if they have it for MMPs. But um, they should have did it for MMPs too or, or other. I know they only do it for, from my experience, they only do it for Glock. But anyway, going to what I was saying in, in this video. Um, and then, you know, of course, for the Glocks, you got different magazines. You got the Mentu, two different flavors, the black and the, and the beige, um, the brown chocolate, which I use this for my um, polymer 80, which matches. And then you got the 40 round ETS mags that fit perfectly for that setup. And then, you know, the, the carbine, you can't put these in the carbine. The, uh, it, it won't fit, but it will fit my MMP right here. It will fit this setup, which uh, I don't know why Smith & Wesson hasn't thought of that, but it is what it is. It still serves a better purpose. There is an advantage to having a carbine versus this, this setup over here with the MCK because this also has the three point you know right here but it doesn't it doesn't have that that long barrel so um that new setup that they got the new kit which like I said I'm gonna probably trade this off for that is um they have a uh you know a longer barrel and um that makes it into uh um that kit that i was describing a bullpup bullpup setup so but uh i like the mck setup but uh i want to get that bullpup setup uh i think it's i think it's a lot better than this than the um mck MCK does is bet is is for me is for you know people that do security or whatever and I you know I, I bring that when I'm training but this one is gonna be this one is gonna be for I don't know yet I don't know exactly yet you know I don't know what this this um setup is gonna be for you know, um, all I know is it does have an advantage versus having a 16 inch barrel versus just having a regular handgun barrel, which, I, um, I don't know what the Glock 17 length is, but I know it's not a 16 inch. And, um, another thing too, that I wanted to address with the, um, brace, because this one does have a brace on it, and MCK is selling them with the braces on still to this day. And then um, these braces, I don't know by law with the ATF, they're not supposed to um, have these braces. I could be mistaken. I'm not sure. But the, another advantage of having this set up is the ATF cannot mess with you because the ATF cannot mess with you because this is a 16 inch barrel. So I don't know if this is gonna be waved out and I had to get rid of that that um because once once you get rid of this once you get rid of this um this brace which plays a big part because right here you got a three, three angle. I, I'm not saying if I'm saying it right. You have a three angle from you know right here, and you're good to go. But without this, you only have a two angle, which is still good, but the three angle is better. You feel me? So I don't know. If we're gonna have to get rid of this. That's why I say this one, they really thought about it. 
because this is a 16 inch barrel and the ATF cannot fuck with this now because it's a 16 inch barrel. So I don't know if I have to get rid of that and just stay with this. You feel me? And I'm good because it's a 16 inch barrel. Just something to think about, you know what I mean? But uh, what are you guys thought process on that? You know, let me know. Like I said, I'm doing this video for y'all because uh, I really care about you guys. And um, I just wanted to share my uh, content with you. And um, another thing, too, if you guys are seeing this, Fioki, I'm wearing your hat. I buy a lot of your ammo. Um, the federal, you know, I buy a lot of your ammo, too. Federal all day. You know what I mean? I need some sponsors. I need some sponsors for the video. Um, I need, you know, I need to make this money, you know, also use the uh, oils to, to clean my, my guns and stuff like that. So we need some sponsors, guys. If you guys could kindly sponsor us, we gladly appreciate it. Um, this That's all for this video. And if you felt led to give... You could go through my website and buy stuff, you know, um, you could even support us by even buying toilet tissue by going in our website, um, toupees, you know, um, everything, you know, uh, shampoo, hair conditioner, uh, soap, even body wash, you name it, you know, stuff around the house, you name it. If you guys can, if you feel led to support us, let me know. I'll be willing to help you guys too. Uh, a lot of people do what I do in the business aspect. I'm not talking to people that's already in the business that's that's watching my video. I'm talking about people that's not in my business. That's not, that is watching my video. So there's a lot of us out there doing what I do. And uh, real recognize real, just like Jay-Z says. You know what I mean? We love, I love you guys. And um, if you like this content, and if you, uh, like I said, like to share this with other people that need to know about this content, please do uh, like and subscribe. It does help out my channel. Um, and if you could leave comments and let me know what's your thought process on this whole concept with the ATF, please let me know. Like I said, I love you guys. I'm going to keep hitting you with these videos. I'm going to keep hitting you with content. Like I said, I'm not professional. Uh, I never claim to be. This is just me giving you my... I'm a regular dude from the BX, from the Bronx. Just new into the firearm industry. And just giving you my input on the Second Amendment rights as a citizen of the United States. On how to, you know, protect you and your loved ones. In case of a situation, you know, preparedness. Love you guys. Peace. I'm out.